Hey, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Arise, and welcome to Live, Laugh, Love, Tear It. Today's topic is about the person you don't have any communication with, okay? We're going to delve into their feelings for you, their emotions for you, what's going on with them, okay? Remember that this is a collective reading and may or may not resonate with you fully, all right? You can check out my playlist for additional collective reads. This is a timeless reading, so whenever you're seeing it, that's when it's meant for you. Remember that Tara could play out past, present, or future. Okay, I want to thank you all so much for all of the likes, subscribes, tips, and donations to this channel. It is greatly appreciated. So, Spirit, please and thank you. Can I have the energy for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising, the person you're not in communication with? Thank you. Two of Pentacles. This person is rotating a lot, okay? This person could be making decisions, a lot of changes going on in this person's life, all right? And with the Ten of Swords, it's like they're trying to get out of a bad situation, okay? They're trying to figure out how can they get out of this jam, okay? Maybe this person has given time and energy to someone or something in the past and it came to like burn them out. This person is feeling ultimate burnout. I will tell you that they are having a transformation though. This person is moving forward out of this energy. Okay. And with the four cups, they are relaxing and rejuvenating themselves. Let me pull one more. And the temperance. So after this person goes through this transformation, they want to come in and work on things between the two of you, which I mean, is only right. That would be the mature thing to do, right? Work on yourself first and then go towards a relationship. But with the two of wands here and the two of cups, it could be that this person doesn't know. I mean, they're making a choice to follow their heart, but I'm getting like they don't know fully if... Um, you're going to be open to this. This could be a queen of cups, though. All right. This is somebody that is very intuitive. All right. This could also be your energy. Okay. Because you are water sign, sun, moon, or rising. But I'm not going to lie. I'm getting that this is this person. Okay. I know the feminine energy kind of sits back, doesn't do much. All right. But this person, it's like they're embodying the energy that they want to come towards them. Okay, and it involves transformation. It involves um, leveling out of emotions. This person is very emotionally competent. Okay, and that means that they are leveled. Okay, in their emotions, they can actually complete this task. Okay, they are fully worthy of it. But with the Queen of Swords here and the Wheel of Fortune, there's almost an energy of this person um, cutting out any BS that comes towards them in the future. Hmm. And then we have the Four Swords. So, this person feels as though they're not fully saying uh, that they feel like they've missed out on an opportunity with you, but rather they feel like they can transform this opportunity. And this person at times uh, pulls back and has to rest and recuperate from this energy. It's the energy of this, two of pentacles going back and forth. This person has been hurt before. They are trying to transform and let things go, okay? That had to do with the past. And sometimes this person just has a burnout, like it... It succumbs them like it, it's overbearing, especially with the Ten of Swords here. Now, I'm going to take these cards because they came out like this. With the Hierophant here, I mean, with the Hermit here, this person is upping a level, though, for sure, for sure. They're not on the same level where you left them at, okay? But with the Hermit here, they're going within. They're trying to really figure out what should I need to give to, okay? What is deserving of my time, effort, you know, money, etc.? With the Ten of Pentacles, I mean, with the Ten of Swords here, this person is coming in as the King of Pentacles. They, well, you're coming in as the King of Pentacles in this masculine energy, all right? You may have been the one that left this person. That's what I'm really getting. I'm not getting that you're the feminine energy in this read, okay? Even if you're a woman, 
Okay, remember, these are energies, yin and yang. One, in the, one is action-oriented uh, to bring in manifestations into their lives. The other one matches the energies that they want to bring into their lives, and it comes to them, okay? I feel like you have been stepping your game up. You've been working hard. You got a lot of money, okay, a lot of stability going on here. You could have left this person at the peak of you being at this financial stability, all right? With the Eight of Pentacles here, yeah, y'all are not working together no more. And it could have even been the fact that you're like, I'm working on me too. And you pull back from them. But something is hidden here. And what's hidden is that there is um, some type of loss. Or there is some type of, I'm not going to say loss fully because it's like this person is trying to transform it and turn it around some type of way. So that it, it, the negative aspects of it is released. I'll pull one more card for you. Now with the strength. This person could be a Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising. They could be a fellow water sign. They also could be an earth sign. Okay, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They can have it in their chart. This person is needing strength to do this. Don't think they just doing this. Okay, yeah, with the five, five of cups. Because they do feel, feel like they've missed out on an opportunity. For some of you, this person feels like you've went to someone else. That you have other options. And that they were just an option to you. With the star card here, this person is going to want to fix things together with you. Because you're their wish fulfillment. With the two of cups here. It's like you all had some type of strong bond. Or at least they really felt like you did. Where you loved each other equally. Where there was an equal give and take, an equal interest. All right? And it's like all of a sudden you block them out. Oh, and the empress shows itself. This person is worthy. Stepping into that empress energy. But look, you could be dealing with a twin flame um, connection for some of you. All right? This person has helped you grow emotionally. Mm, not really emotionally. That's not the word I want to use. Spiritually. Okay? Yeah, but it's been a burn. It ain't been easy. Because twin flame, look. Stopped you dead in your tracks and stopped them dead in their tracks to the point where you all both start working on yourself, mind, body, and soul until you reach this enlightenment on how to move forward with this connection. Mm -mm. I see some betrayal, some sneakiness, though. I do see that. Let me part the deck one more time. But someone resting and recuperating from that. This person feels like you uh, had somebody else, Scorpio, some moon arising. In your energy, that's why you pulled away. Uh, I'm just telling you what they feel, what they think. Now, I don't know if that's true or not. For some of you, it is. For others of you, it's not, okay? I see you just working on yourself for sure. And if you were in the past, um, you need a strength to kind of go back to this person, okay? You could equally feel like they're your wish fulfillment as well and that, you know, you love each other equally, Okay? With the change here, there is some type of change taking place, all right? I feel like a shift in perspective for the both of you, actually. I feel like you want them just as much as they want you, all right? You hold them in high honor as they do you. But something must have taken place where it's just like, you know, that's how it goes in these twin flame dynamics. You come together and then something happens and you evolve and you learn from each other spiritually and emotionally and physically all the way around you're not the same okay and sometimes there is like a runner chaser dynamic where one person chases the other when they pull away okay i'm kind of getting that energy a little bit but there's an energy of this person working on themselves first before they come to you and that kind of shifts things a little bit because they're healing they're actually working on the things that need to be worked on here you are coming in as the health um the wealthy man okay uh the wealthy masculine energy okay you could be a male or a female okay but this is saying that you have worked hard for your stability. Remember when I was saying that you left this person maybe at the height or the peak of your financial stability where you were held in high honor because you're coming in as the king of pentacles? All right. You stop messing around with this person. You ended things with them. OK, possibly because you had a lot of cash, you know, and you trying to make the, the next move, your best move. You know, you weren't really for sure. You had somebody else in your energy and maybe you wanted to see maybe that could be the better option for you. OK, yeah, with a great fortune here. OK, I'm going to tell you one thing. This person is a money hungry. OK, all right. 
If anything, this person is just trying to let you know and show you that they are not coming towards you for your money, okay? What's hidden is that they actually need strength to do this, to come towards you. This person, if anything, the, the great fortune that they see is within you. Yeah, with the privileged lady here, this is the privileged feminine energy, all right? They want to journey towards you. Mature woman, this person is mature. They have, they see another pathway here to follow, another perspective that they want to have had on this situation. This person is worthy of nurturing. This person is worthy of abundance. Look, courthouse pops out. Okay. This person may want to commit to you for sure. They want a higher commitment with you. They see you as their wish fulfillment. It's like nobody else comes after that. And I don't want to lay a lot of burden down on you, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Horizon, but I feel like you need to know that. That's going to be very significant for someone in the distant horizons. Uh, you can expect this person to come towards you, okay? This person is feeling in prison. They're feeling... Um, held back uh restrained okay they they could really be trying to restrain themselves from coming in too hard towards you as well that could be the part where they're trying to fix on themselves like well i don't want to come in and scare scorpio even more away from me i gotta make sure that i'm 100 within myself okay and i respect that here we have time has brought me clarity about us i made the wrong choices so this person could have done things um, that kind of pushed you away because they were facing their own demons. Um, because it's like heavy emphasis on this person working on themselves and then coming towards you. So they could have pushed you away some type of way because they had things within themselves that they needed to heal. And we even saw the Queen of Cups. When the Queen of Cups comes out, this is somebody that is emotionally balanced, mature, okay? And that's how this person is coming towards you, balanced and mature, worthy of abundance, worthy to be, you know, taken care of, nurtured, because they are a nurturer. It says, I settle for second best because I don't deserve you. This person... Um, when you guys broke up or however it goes, when you went your certain ways, uh, there could have been an energy of this person settling for someone because they felt like maybe they really screwed up with you and that they didn't deserve to have someone like you. There's a lot of energy of this person needing to fix self-sabotage within themselves as well. Here we have your silence feels safer to me. I don't want to get hurt again. You may have been kind of blunt with this person and I'm a part of the deck just for the hell of it. It says I'm confused about what I should do about my feelings for you. We even have it's easier being with someone from my world. I feel like this person uh, here was kind of messed up off of this situation. They really thought long and hard um, about their feelings for you. Then they went back and forth in this sabotage energy of maybe they don't deserve you. Maybe they're fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Like, this person really beats themselves up real hard, okay? But then at the end of the day, they can't do anything but transform and make themselves better and work on themselves, all right? Because don't nobody want to be stuck in misery, okay? There's an energy of this person coming towards you after they fix themselves. And you're going to have a choice, Scorpio, someone arising. Will you take them in? Will it be enough? Or will it not be? So if this message resonated with you, smash that like button. And if you want to see more reads like this one, smash that like button. Thank you so much for your love, support, tips, and donations to this channel. Until then, peace and love.